Oh, uh, yeah, what's good? So I go by Digital Crates. Everybody, is there, everybody call me Crates. I'm repping for hip-hop since 1987.com. Uh, we have blogged mainly out of the East Coast, from Philly down to Atlanta, but I lived in L.A. for like 10-plus years, so I stay really tapped in with the culture of what's going on in the West Coast. I always got my ear to the streets, and y'all name has been ringing bells, man. Like, yo, Baby Stone Gorillas. That's all I've been hearing for like the past year, man. So I'm excited to talk to y'all. But for people out there that aren't really tapped in with what y'all got going on yet, maybe you could just tell them a little bit more about where you're from and how y'all got started doing music. We're from, uh, we're located in uh, Crenshaw District. We're from a little area called Barber Village, known as the Jungles, you know what I'm saying? Um, we really just started like, we really just started just like piecing up together and just like, just going to the school, you know what I'm saying? Just like, mm -hmm. We didn't know, like, we really didn't know what we was doing. We were just rapping, you know what I'm saying? So we just going in there and we just going in there rapping. And then, like, we after we was done, we, like, actually sat there and listened. We were like, oh, shit, hold on. We might have something. And that was that baby Stone Gorilla. But we already had dropped the STL camps and J-Hats before that. No doubt. And how'd y'all come up with the name? Where did Baby Stone Gorillas come from? The fans. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. Appreciate all the fans. I gave us the name. Hell, yeah. And y'all got debut mixtape. Hot in the streets right now, crossing over. Y'all got crazy features on there. But more importantly, it's like y'all got a crazy sound. Like the sound is is true to the soil of LA and the West Coast, but is new. Like y'all are bringing like some fresh energy to the game. Like how long did it take y'all from when you first started piecing up to like get to this sound that y'all got right now? I feel like it started happening fast. Like it really started happening fast. I want to say like, I want to say like, what song that really probably like start coming after was probably like Baby, Baby, Baby Song Gorilla, Gorilla. like when yeah. it started, like Baby Song Gorilla. Then it really started picking up, like when Must Be Stupid, and we start dropping all them, like, oh yeah, they started. Yeah, to keep the energy. yeah we, and like what first got y'all into music? Like, what was some of your inspiration? And like, we listened to a little bit of everything, bro. Like, like you said, like we listened to the East, like the East Coast more, like we like, 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 Florida, like South. All like a little bit of Chicago. We listen to a little bit of everything, mm. bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we had like a little bit of all of them. Like, shout out overseas. Overseas, like shout out to all of them too. Y'all know who y'all are, man. Actually it's like I said, like y'all sound is so true to LA, but it's it's something new. It's crazy. Like, how does it work with production? Like, do people just send you guys beats all day? Like, do you mainly work with uh, Ron, Ron, uh, Ron? Like, how does it work with the beats and the production? Look, I know for sure all of our emails got at least more than 200 <laughs> beats. Like, just that I for sure. I know for sure I got like four, five hundred. I I know for sure we all got more than two hundred for sure. Since we started, rapping, since we started I, I, probably got, I probably got like nine hundred. I ain't gonna no cap. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I start rapping, nigga. I got beat packages after packages. After what packages. beats? Yeah. I probably got a hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yeah. beats are no joke. Oh God. Yeah. Especially when you pin your email on your page. Yeah. Oh, it's raining. I hit you up. It's sending them. And like, yo, for as many beats as y'all got, I'm willing to bet y'all got a ton of songs on the hard drive. What, what's 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 the vault? What, what, what's the vault looking like? The vault looking healthy. Man, this vault, is what the fuck up the say the vault looking healthy. <laughs> he <laughs> vault is healthy. Vault is real healthy yeah. right now. Motherfucker got yeah. good, good good shit in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But for people that ain't heard you really yet, how would you describe your sound to them? It's a J sound. <laughs> yeah, I, I say we got our own sound. Like I, I tell them, like you feel me? It, it's a sound like no, no other. Because I, I don't think we sound like, like really like the people that we trying to compare us to. Most people they try to compare us to, like anybody that like in LA shit. Mm. Anybody in LA, I say we got our own sound. Like we started a new wave. The way I would describe it is just new. Like it's definitely like taking a little bit of what's going on, like in the in the Midwest. And a lot of like was true to the Cali sound and just kind of like, I mean, it's up tempo. You know what I mean? Like the rhymes, it's crazy. Like it's melodic, but your rhymes are, are like totally on point. Like y'all is lyrical. You know what I mean? And that's something that's missing in the game right now. Y'all speaking some <laughs> truth. Like what, what kind of made you want to go in that direction of just being authentic? This, our struggle and just and just knowing that now and that now we got people listening to us it's it's it's, it's different you know what I'm saying you got a different push about it like you now you want to do it and you want people to really listen to what you're saying so now you're just really training your mind and really just working man the new generation of rap I don't understand the hate like people be like yo they off beat 
they this and they that. But like, if you listen to a lot of Chicago and Midwest artists, y'all kind of yeah. took what they're doing, but updated it. Like everything is on the 808s. Everything got a bounce to it. Like, how does that work? Like when you hear the beat, like, and you're in the studio, like do y'all just kind of go in and start rapping. Do you do the hooks first? Like, how does the songwriting process work? We, we be trying to go off feel it, like the energy. Like we going off each other energy type shit. Like we might we might be like we might throw the beat on and be like five months be like oh shit it's on. Like I'm gonna just go in like you know what I'm saying. So yeah. we might just go off that. Like it's just on or you know, So it's just all based on however we just going about it. And it's like the dynamic of your group is crazy because y'all sound so good together, but you definitely each have your own style to the way you come across on the raps. We all got you on that bitch. Like it's, yeah, because it's, it's, it's rare that, that there's a group with that much chemistry that y'all have. Did y'all just know off the jump from the first couple sessions or like, did you have to kind of like figure out a way to gel together? I say it was already off the jump because we are really brothers. You know what I'm saying? So it was just all it was already off the jump because we grow up, we down there lived in the same house, all type of shit. So it was already regular. Like we could do everything else. Yeah, man. we could do everything. Yeah, well, well, let's try to do this rap shit or something. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. What are the what are the shows looking like? Like y'all, the music is so hype. I can't imagine what a show looks like that we y'all performing. Oh man, our recent what? What was the recent show? They go. She was crazy. It was she was crazy. They coming more in. They it's coming in. It's coming in. Shows is coming in. Everything's coming in, it's coming together, bro. You know what it is? It's like y'all putting in the work. Like if you treat some shit like a job, you're gonna get paid. And over the last year, y'all been putting in the work. Like I really respect everything that you got going on from the music to the videos. Y'all got social media on Smash. Like how do y'all balance it all? Like it's crazy how much you guys are doing. It's a, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, but really like it's like bro just said, day by day for sure. Day by day and just just thinking, you know what I'm saying? Just thinking different, you know what I'm saying? Thinking of something different to do, something creative. Yeah, yeah. just in the last couple of weeks, too, y'all been just whamming. Like, with this project out, it's really some big things on the way. I feel it coming for y'all. And, and it's crazy. Black. It's like, it's like y'all making it look easy, and y'all really yeah. running with it. Like, it's really, really crazy. But it can't be that easy. Like, maybe y'all could talk about maybe some of the hurdles, some shit you had to jump over to get to where you're at now. It is hurdles. Nobody perfect, you know what I'm saying? But we get through them. Day by day, you know what I'm saying? That's what the day by day come in, you know what I'm saying? Just day by day, just staying creative. And what four or five minds is always greater than one. So, you know what I'm saying? It's always true. It's just, it's just always something creative going on. So, it's, you saying, yo, yo, the main thing we just be trying to push is just staying positive because we know what we're trying to get to. And what keeps y'all motivated? Because, I mean, like, the music keeps getting better, the videos keep getting crispier. Like, what keeps y'all motivated to keep improving? Feel yeah, everybody support each us, other, really. each other. Like it's a lot, bro. A lot, but really, like this right here, this studio keep us going. All this shit right here keep us going. Like, yeah, yeah. The studio is the sanctuary. Y'all had a lot of like moments the last couple couple of years, especially this last year. What's like one of your favorite music moments that you could speak on? When we were sitting at Empire Table. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Hey, hey. Oh, I uh, in the real world too. But that uh, part, that was like the crazy. Like I was like, yeah, bro, they, man, yeah, that was different. One the more thing, that rooftop, you standing on shooting a video. Woo. I feel like where it really took off for y'all was military. That's like the first joint that I know people out here in the East Coast was playing. That shit was banging down south. Like, what was it you think about that run and that song in particular that like shit just started jumping off? I ain't gonna lie, that song, like, you feel me? I, I was like, for my bro, because my bro locked up type of shit. So, mm. really, you know, I, I, I knew it was going it, it was going to do that because, you know, it's a lot of people that see them shooting. It's a lot of people that feel that type of shit. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have for the world. Yeah. You feel me? They all, yeah. man. Everybody got somebody locked up and shit. If you ain't got nobody locked up, then I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> no, that's real. I want to talk about how some of your collabs happen. I love the song Untouchable with RJ. How did that how did that joint come together? Shit, I was at the studio one night. Shit, you feel me? I was fucking with my nigga uh, Siete. And then shit, I pulled up. He was right there type shit. So for me, he already knew who I was and what and what I had going. So he, I ain't gonna lie, he was like, he was down there like, man, like he was he he, he I walked in there was playing our shit in their studio. You feel me? He like off the top, we got it in, man. So shit. End up making that untouchable. You feel me? He already uh see that they already had that shit like loaded up type shit. He already had his verse on there. 
I think he threw his shit on there and I threw my shit on there. So shit, that's how that went. And then shit, gang was on that motherfucker. I brought it back to this studio shit and gang was on that shit. You feel me? That, that track is hard. Yeah, hell yeah. You got a song and a video out now called Do It Up with Wally the Sensei. How'd that joint come together? That, sh- that, that song is crazy. Networking, fucking around. Yeah, that, that networking part is important. It's like you want to be cool, but you don't want to be too cool. You know what I mean? Like you got to build with people that's around you. And you got a song on the project I love called With Me with One Take J, who's another one of my favorite artists out there. How did y'all link up and put that joint together? That That's that's one of them ones I could see that being a single coming up. Yeah, yeah. That went crazy. 6K in one day, shit. That was crazy. Like, not even in one day, like. 6k in like 12 hours mm. y'all got a sound that like is bigger than cali in my opinion and you got the song in a circle with band gang lonnie bands that's another one i feel like to take off in the next week or two how did that joint come together same shit networking fucking with different people you know one thing i, I super respect about y'all right is all the visuals and it's a lot of them like don't get me wrong it's a lot of videos but they they cohesive. They all go together. You're working with the same director, it looks like, in every single video. Like, how did that relationship become so potent? Like, what, like, like, how did that all come together, the video process? You feel me? Goddamn loyalty. Mm. And then you know, a lot of hard work and dedication. I don't say, you know, our first videos it was like hard work because we was we was new to it. Mm. But shit, we was killing that shit though. Hell yeah, we, we, we was doing all that shit and, and we was doing it damn near like as if we been did, we been doing, been doing it. it for five or ten type shit. So yeah, that's the damn like it just really I don't know. I don't know. Well, that shit was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, and it's it's like y'all growing together and the work just keeps getting better and better and better. You got so much under your belt already, but like now you got the project out, videos constantly dropping. The new video is crazy for that's what you're supposed to do. Video is unbelievable. What's next? It's like, unbel- you know what I mean? Like y'all fired off and it's not even the end of March yet. Ooh. Like what's, what's coming the rest of the year for y'all? Stay tuned. <laughs> we got a lot coming. Now, uh, we got a uh, crazy, like, like a crazy plan for some for this tape that we just got. Uh, we shooting all videos, all the songs, we shoot all the videos. Like, so, so really... We don't know, like, we ain't got the order just yet, but we just, you know what I'm saying, we're going. We're going, though. But we, we do got an order. It's just, we going. Yeah, it's the science. And y'all got so many co- collaborations that you've knocked out. What's some, like, features or collaborations that y'all want to do? Like, what are some artists out there that, or, or producers that you want to link up with going through this year? On the producer side? Well, like, Mustard, like, Zaytoven, mm-hmm. uh, uh, a couple, uh, 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 Southside, um, Zona, Zona, you can do, oh, Zona is a producer, man, it's a couple, uh, and then, like, on the, on the, on the feature side, on the artist side, oh, man, it's, it is a long list, man, I ain't gonna lie, you gonna do a lot with a lot of people, bro, I'm not gonna lie, uh, who y'all think, who y'all got at the top of y'all head, though? Uh, Lil Dark Gucci, artist, like, artist, Lil Dark Gucci, uh, uh, I say key. I say I say key. I swear, well, I swear, video. Baby French Ray. That's all coming. I can see that. All them like yeah. crazy. And how about like touring? Y- y'all got plans to get around the country a little bit this year? Yeah, yeah. Hell sure. yeah. <laughs> What's like one place that y'all haven't been yet that you're looking forward the most to going and, and rocking the stage? Africa. You say Africa? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I feel that. That's different. Getting that overseas love is like, once you start getting that overseas love, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? And you're good for life after that. So after this year, right? Like, yo, you're going to run it all year. Where do you see, like, this music taking y'all in the next couple of years? Yeah, we're going to be in big matches and, 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 and all type of, you know, crazy shit and, you know, and all type of shit. You feel me? Yes, sir. Oh, man, we in the top of the hills with it, buddy. We gonna be somewhere where a lot of niggas wanna be, feel me? True. Yeah, you you already are right now. I can't imagine running with it for another couple of years. Y'all gonna definitely be on top. Yeah. And it's like yo yo, y'all got a crazy fan base. 
I was scrolling through the comments and a lot of your videos, like people really love what you're doing. What's like a message that you could give to your fans that show so much love? Uh, we appreciate y'all. You feel me? Keep the support coming. You feel me? Man. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. And yo, like on our website and on our socials, we got a lot of young artists like y'all that's tapped in. You know what I mean? And I don't know if there's any like advice that you could give to them or maybe advice that y'all have been given that you could kind of pass out to people just trying to get where you at in the game. Like it ain't just happen overnight. You feel me? It's a long list. It's 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 a it's a it's a year when we start going, then we got that year and a half when we was just on SoundCloud. You feel me? So yeah, it's a long way. You it's a dirty. No, I'm saying so you feel me? A long way. Wherever y'all 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 for me, y'all dreams is, whatever y'all goals is, just stick to them. You feel me? Just stay down. Yeah. Stay down, feel me. And, and, feel me? And, and, and you're gonna be the way we going. Just stay down. You feel me? That's, that's, really, that's really that's really real. And what about like from when you first started? What's like some advice that you would give to yourself? Let's say you could like talk to you when you first got in that booth. What's some advice you would give to yourself? Let's get rich. We're trying to get rich. <laughs> I feel okay. that. I feel that, man. Y'all are well on the way. Baby Stone Gorillas. I think it's bigger than y'all. Like it's bigger than the music. Like this is a movement. And I think this is like a, a moment for y'all. And it's going to be like leading up to a lot more major moments, major blessings. I, I can't say that you just put in the work for nothing. Like y'all really are going to start like reaping the benefits of all the work y'all put in, man. Y'all go super hard. I really respect everything you're doing. Before we wrap up, I don't know if you got any, any shout outs, any like thank yous, any last words, but I want to kind of give y'all the floor to wrap this up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hell yeah. Shout out to all my fans, everybody that fuck with us, you know, it's shit. And that embarrassed with us through these, you feel me? Some through the times we wasn't dropping, through the times that we was and they wasn't how y'all wanted them. Same thing, you feel me? Don't switch up, nigga. Switch up and get get left get left down there. You feel me? That's I it. Feel it. People want to get at you for anything, like for bookings or just to like check out your newest music. Where can they follow you? Our baby song gorillas page. I just want to send y'all major blessings, man. I really thank y'all for taking the time tonight, man. I'm really looking forward to see what the next couple of years has in store for y'all. Big, big blessings on the way, man. Just want to salute y'all and say thank you, man. Yes, sir. We appreciate you, man. All right. Y'all stay up, man. I'm going to stay tapped into what you got going on, man. Big things coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, gang. Y'all have a blessed one. That's yes,